Welcome to part 17 of this playthrough. Um, and with that being said, I checked I checked the music while I wasn't recording, and I turned it off. It's off, so why was it playing in the last match? Spooky. Open for business 24-7. What, both of those girls' legs? Sorry, I'll shut up. <laughs> that was terrible of me, I'm so sorry. Such poor taste. Just it was it was a touch and go. I was gonna do that joke. Mm, yeah, free ride off what? <laughs> yes, it's obvious the bomb man stole the title. Yes, yes, yes. Unlike you, Trish, who's, uh, uh, yeah, who's always been comfortable on top. What? Uh, speaking of the angel, <laughs> can't say devil. A devil does not wear that kind of outfit. End of story. How did she walk up the stairs just then? Oh, we'll never know, I guess. There weren't any stairs there. There are usually stairs there, and there weren't any stairs. This game gets weirder by the minute. I never realized. <laughs> A newfound weirdness in this game has been located. Very dear me. Ooh, yeah, let's go all randy, shall we? <laughs> the crowd's over it. The uh, very badly rendered crowd. They're not that bad, though, considering. Yeah, you little thief. She's a little thief. Because she stole my heart. <laughs> ah, right, enough corny, bad, tasteless jokes. Mm, yeah. Crikey. Have I really got to do this match? Where's Bomberman? He should be in this match. No, actually, that's more tasteless than all the jokes I've already done. Oh, it's capital letters all over this time. Change of pace. <laughs> the unique thing about this bra and panty match is you can exit the ring. At least I believe you can. So, yeah. And weapons are legal. So it's a hardcore bra and panties match. Yeah. Unlike on the SmackDown games, where you can't actually exit the ring, period. And what's he stepping on? An ant? <laughs> kick you in the head, kick you in the head, that's what you're good for, kick you in the head. See this, uh... It's a shame they can't have these type of matches anymore, I guess. TNA's gonna have to steal the concept, I think. I don't mind seeing a few of the knockouts doing a match like this. <laughs> Again, more perverted, perverted thoughts are flowing through my brain, I'll shut up. And make this a bit more of a hardcore match. <laughs> yeah, bring a chair out. A bit oh, there we go, big kick. Look, the ref ain't stopping me. I don't know why he's even there, to be honest. He seems to be there in every match. Even a TLC or a cage. It's like, what the hell? You don't need to be there. Oh, lethal. That's got to deserve some rippage. 
<laughs> See, a lot of freedoms in this game that um, doesn't seem to be present in the SmackDown games, yet they're better for some reason. I find that weird. <laughs> Can't have no weapons in a Hell in a Cell. Can't even exit the ring in a Brown Panties match and use weapons. Like, jeez. Where's all the freedom gone? <laughs> now we're just gonna do a sexy pose. <laughs> Followed by a slap in the face. <laughs> what happens if I do this? Oh, it's still a slap in the face. Right, okay then. <laughs> Let's try and remove something, shall we? Preferably the outfit. <laughs> There we go. Lovely jubbly. I've got this under wraps. Now Tris is just wearing a very short dress. So I just removed the upper layer. <laughs> and it's a shame you can't have created wrestlers in this kind of match as well. Just picture the possibilities, folks. <laughs> then again, would we really want to? With the ugly designs of my characters? <laughs> Let's go in the corner. Oh look, she's put the chair in a very op opportunistic... Oh, what? You're not going to do that. Dang. Could have done a superplex under that. That's an appealing uh, shot for... Um, let's try and take it off. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Yay! <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> You can now uh, turn back for any people that didn't want to see that. And for those of you that did, you can now remove your hand away from your crotch. Right. I'm sorry, that's enough jokes now. I call it down the line, that is enough jokes. Really? Really, Dave, really? Mr. AKI, you are so wrong. Ugh. I suddenly feel so dirty. Mm. Ooh. La di da. Seven minutes. Alright. Let's save. Because I ain't doing that again. I was I'll be making more jokes <laughs> without a doubt. Actually, that would be a rather interesting thing. If anyone can say in the comments below if I could have a bra and panties match in the SF, who they would want to see in it. Yes, let your perverted thoughts run wild, please. Why not? <laughs> We could all do with a good laugh. So could I. Come right to read them. I will, I will give you my analysis and thoughts as well if you do post one. It's all good fun, right? <laughs> Sad goodbyes. Yeah, Bischoff, you're gone. Goodbye. Go away. <laughs> Go beat up your son. He was standing there. I didn't notice. <laughs> what tips did he give? Is that self-experience? Will you stop with the jokes? <laughs> uh, I am uncontrollable today. Uh, <laughs> oh, what? No, now you're doing it. I've just read that. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Stop it. <laughs> Listen to her. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Things are getting too... I don't know. They're just getting too everything. Yeah. Keep those um, ideas coming down for matches of the SF bra and panty style, by the way. Yeah, no host barred. 
Now we're back on track. No more jokes. No more jokes. No more jokes. I think I'll call this part 17, the most perverted part of all the parts. Unless we get another one. Then I'll say, this is the new most perverted part. <laughs> oh, more kissing on the forehead. Or biting even. <laughs> Goodbye. She's turning into a zombie, that Stacy Keebler, wanting to bite my head off. <laughs> Ooh, it's a piece of paper. Oh, sorry, a picture. I'm pretty familiar with it. No, you're not. <laughs> oh no, it's missing one of its gold bars. Ah! It's missing one of his gold bars. I don't believe it. What are we going to do? I didn't know I had a gold bar. What does it mean by a gold bar? be pretty heavy if it had a gold bar on it. <laughs> But like, put it on, it just slides down your legs all the way to your ankles and you're like tripping over it. <laughs> oh, screw him. <laughs> well, I'm gonna fire your ass! <laughs> but you've got to listen to me, sir. Now get moving! <laughs> In true Bischoff style. Yeah. I think uh, I'll be calling this part a wrap up in a minute as well. So let's try and see a few perverted comments more in and I can live up to the hype of the name of this, uh, uh, this part, yeah. Yes, I do. Can we have one in this parking lot? That would be most interesting. And then maybe I can ride Stacy in the back of one of those cars over there. Eh, yeah, see, I'm keeping up with the pervertedness. <laughs> <clears throat> Thanks, Krish. What's going on here, guys? Gay party? <laughs> Nimrods, 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 Nimrods. What are you doing, Nimrods? Oh, another spear. I've had another one. And Orton's just possessed with kicking my knee in. While Edge is beating out my scalp with his fist. Oh, wait a minute. Now Ed Jericho's beating the rubbish out of me. They're doing the Orton stomp, except they're not moving around me. They're just stomping in everywhere that he would anyway. Whew. And now we need the AT music. <laughs> is that the AT music? Yeah, I think it is. I haven't watched that show in ages. Yeah, yeah I grew up with that show as well. <laughs> kind of. Uh. Yeah, this part's going to have to have a wrap. Come on, hurry up. What am I supposed to... Oh, right, okay. Hurry up. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to have to call this a wrap for a minute. The story's going to have to get slightly interrupted thanks to tons of cutscene. So I'll be back in a minute.